I will now show you how to deploy an exam in your Blackboard course. In order to have an automatic column show up in your grade center, the exam has to be deployed into the course, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If I go down into Course Tools, Test Surveys and Pools, and then I click on Tests, all of your exams and your quizzes will all be found here. You can create as many as exams as you want, but if they're not deployed in your menu up here, the students can't see them and therefore there is no existing column in your grade center. So in order to deploy your exams or your tests that are sitting in this area, you have to do the following. You have to go into course materials or wherever you all will be loading your exams. It could be in learning modules, or however your structure is set up, and you want to point to assessment and then click on test. You will see here it says add an existing test. When I click on, click on exam one and I click on submit, it opens up all of the options for you to apply to your test. Let's go through these. Open in a new window, yes. Show test description to the students, yes. Make available to the students, yes. You can add a new announcements for this test if you want. Now here's your choices. You can give them multiple attempts by allow unlimited or give them a number of attempts or, and if you use this, you'll have to figure out how you want it to be uh, graded within your grade center, highest grade, last graded attempt. If you're not using multiple attempts, you'll want to use forced completion, which means once it's started, the test must be completed in one sitting. If you do use a timer, you're going to want to make sure auto submit is on because this way the test will save and submit automatically when the time expires. The benefit for you is that it will automatically grade it and put it in your grade center. If you have off and they go past the time, you are going to have to go in there and look at everything and make it okay for the test score to come through. So I'm suggesting you put it on. If you are opening it up within certain dates or times, here is where you put display after, display until. If you have an exception for a student that needs more time or more um, uh, a longer period of time, you can add them here. You can't see anyone right here because I do not have a student, but when you click on the student's name and you click on submit, it will open up a window for you to set their exceptions. If you put a due date, please make sure it matches this date right here, the display until. You might have issues with, with dates and times bumping heads if they don't match. Under feedback, after submission, you can give them everything where they have all of their feedback or if you are worried about sharing of a test after submission, you can give them you deselect these and give them only a score and then you can choose either on a specific date, a due date, availability end date, you can give them everything across the board. You have a choice to how you present your questions all at once, one at a time, backtracking or randomized questions. Once you have chosen all your options in this area, click submit. Now you will see that your exam is now in your learning modules area and if you go down to grade center full grade center you will see that here is your column for exam one so this column did not show up until you actually pulled your test into your menu right here this concludes how to deploy deploy a test within your course